Distinguished delegates, a very good morning to you all. It's a great pleasure for me to join Ambassador McCook in extending a very warm welcome to you here this morning. Uh, I'm delighted to see once again that the room uh, promises to be full uh, as soon as we all settle down. Uh, there is a, a very wide, uh, large participation and this I think is key. Uh, as you all know, the mandate for uh, 2012-13 biennium for the IGC was to expedite uh, the work on the text-based negotiations uh, with an objective of reaching agreement on a text or text of an international legal instrument or instruments that will ensure effective protection for genetic resources as well as traditional knowledge and traditional cultural expressions. And you all, I am sure, are aware of the decision that was taken by our member states in the assemblies uh, in October last year, 2012, which set out the work program for 2013. And as you know, uh, that work program is foreseeing an extremely busy six months ahead of us for the IGC. You know that the General Assembly decided upon three thematic sessions uh, that were to build on existing texts, uh, and this is of course the first one of them uh, on, the, on genetic resources. The second will take place in April of this year and it will address traditional knowledge. And the third will take place in July and it will be an eight-day session with five days devoted to traditional cultural expressions and then three days devoted to an overview of all the work that has been done throughout the year. Uh, let me recall also that the meeting that took place 12 months ago on genetic resources uh, was a very successful meeting because it led for the first time to a consolidated single document on intellectual property and genetic resources. Of course, that document is very much a work in pro progress, but it was a major step forward that we had a single consolidated document for the first time. And that consolidated text, as you know, is available in document number four, and a great deal of work is still needed upon it. There is another working document that has been submitted to this uh, session. It's a resubmission of a joint uh, recommendation on intellectual property and genetic resources. That has been, it's document number five, and it's been submitted by the delegations of Canada, Japan, Norway, the Republic of Korea, and the United States of America. So I would like uh, this morning quite simply to make a plea to you all to really do what uh, the mandate uh, requires the member states to do, that is to engage in good faith and to engage in negotiations to move forward this topic. Uh, I would like to acknowledge the presence of a number of persons. First of all, let me start with the indigenous and local community experts. Uh, and I'd like to acknowledge their continuing contribution to this process and the importance of that contribution. Uh, as you may know, we now have on the WIPO website a portal which is termed an indigenous portal which uh, gives specific, sp which, whose purpose is specifically to facilitate access <coughs> to information that's useful for uh, and related to indigenous peoples and local communities. Uh, let me mention in this regard also the WIPO Voluntary Fund. You are all aware that this was established to facilitate the participation of indigenous representatives uh, in the IGC. Uh, recently, we wrote to all member states and to several foundations and funds uh, to try to elicit some renewed, some new contributions to the voluntary fund. I'm afraid to say that we have not received any. And so the current state of affairs is that it is likely that we have enough money to fund one or two uh, representatives, indigenous representatives, at the next IGC, IGC 24, but none beyond that. So I would again 
uh, make a plea to uh, all of the member states uh, in this regard to see if it's possible to uh, make a contribution to the voluntary fund. We are very fortunate to have present this morning the United Nations Special Rapporteur on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, and I would like to welcome Professor James Anaya from the United States of America. I'd like to welcome the other three panelists that are coming, namely Dr. Anil Gupta from India, Ms. Tassila Rivera Zaya from Peru, uh, and Mr. Godber. Tumushabi from uh, Uganda. Uh, a very warm welcome to you all. And finally, but certainly not least, I would like to place on record a very, our deep gratitude to Ambassador Wayne McCook, the chair of the IGC. You are uh, no doubt not aware of the extent of commitment and work of Ambassador McCook to this process. He has been working tirelessly to facilitate this process and to move it forward. And we're very, very fortunate to have him as our chair, and I would like to express our special gratitude to him for his work.